Hey guys, Josh here for Classic Elite. You might know me better as the Gooch, and this is a video review for Cinemora. Now, before I begin, I just want to mention that all this game's beautiful 720p gameplay footage that you're seeing in this review was recorded using an Avermedia Game Capture HD. Now, what is Cinemora? It's a brand new shoot 'em up that just released exclusively on the Xbox Live Arcade. And if you don't know what a shoot 'em up is, then maybe I should just call it a shmup. Yeah, I'm hip to the newfangled video game terminology. Shmups come in a few different varieties, mainly vertical or horizontal. But to borrow some terms from the guys over at DGR, this essentially means the games are either left rightly or up downly. Cinemora belongs to the left rightly category. You gotta maneuver your ship from left to right through seven diverse stages, avoiding waves of bullets, enemy ships, aggressive alien wildlife, environmental dangers, and a whole lot more. Co-developed by Grasshopper Manufacturer and Digital Reality and published by Microsoft Studios, Cinemora is everything you'd expect from a classic shoot 'em up You fly, you avoid stuff, and you shoot stuff. What sets the game apart, both in the story and the gameplay mechanics, are its use of time. Now, whether you're playing the single player campaign or the other modes, you always have at least one time manipulating ability. Outside of the story, you can pick an ability that allows you to rewind time and even through death. So if you make a mistake, you activate that ability and poof, you have a fresh start. The other time manipulating ability that you have to use throughout the game's story is essentially bullet time within a shmup. You can slow down time which makes enemies and projectiles much easier to avoid. Although, keep in mind these abilities are limited and once you're out, you have to collect more of that resource to use them again. If you want a pro tip from me, save your time slowing ability until after you're hit, because when you're hit, you're gonna lose some of your firepower enhancements, and you really need those because they're super useful for fighting bosses and keeping your multiplier high and getting a multiplier very quickly. Although, okay, one more side note, using your time abilities or your special weapon cuts off your multiplier, meaning that it starts all over again. And if you play shmups and you strive for really high scores, you know just how important that multiplier is to topping the leaderboards which Cinemora has. The game also has multiple game modes. In addition to the story, you can replay boss fights and stages for better scores using tons of different weapons and ships and time manipulating device combinations. Guys, I'm telling you, for 1,200 Microsoft Space Points, you really do get quite a bit of game. And what a game. I love the gameplay. It's a classic genre that is integral to gaming's rich history, and what they've done here is they brought that to the next generation, and not just in terms of gameplay, but visuals as well. Cinemora is a gorgeous game. Everything is bright and detailed and really colorful. It has a very distinctive look, the overall design of the world and planes, um, the devs call it diesel punk, and I love it. It's very imaginative, and it has a look and feel that really make the game unique. By the time it's all over with, you're going to have flown through beautiful blue skies, in dark creature infested caves, and even underwater. Yeah, these planes are awesome. They're like freaking swordfish with wings that shoot lasers. In contrast to the game's amazing visuals, the overall tone is very dark, it's very bleak. Upon starting the game, you're going to see an M rating, pretty much due to some strong language. And each level begins with a monologue that sort of sets the tone and lets you know this is a war-torn world. There are no jokes, no one is laughing, war is hell, it's very serious. People die, they fight, some of them want revenge. You can tell a lot of time went into creating the fiction for Cinemora, and it shows. And by no means would you expect this much backstory to have been developed for a downloadable shoot 'em up, but these guys really have set a new bar for storytelling, not only in shmups, but in the downloadable game space in general. Now, with all of this praise, I've not even mentioned the soundtrack, and it's a really terrific soundtrack. It was composed by the sound director of the Silent Hill and Shadows of the Damn Games. 
The soundtrack is nothing short of epic, and it really helps to get you immersed and feel like you're in a really... You feel like you're in a fractured universe. Guys, I've always liked shmups, and I'll admit I've never been particularly good at them, but I really can appreciate them on multiple levels. And for this review, I'm telling you flat out honestly, uh, all the gameplay footage was shot with me playing the game on the story mode on the normal difficulty setting. And that's what's great about Cinemora. I had a fantastic time playing at that difficulty and in that mode. Now, if you're a hardcore fan, there is a whole lot there to enjoy. You can crank up the difficulty, try the different modes, work on getting higher up on the leaderboards. The game appeals to both casual and hardcore fans of the genre. The game does so much right, I really don't have anything negative to say about it. The visuals are fantastic, the story is really well written, the controls and the mechanics are both super solid. I think a lot of people, including myself, weren't sure what to expect from Cinemora, but now that I've played it, I know this game is really special and games like this don't come around very often. So whether you're a fan of shmups or a fan of games in general, you really owe it to yourself to play it, and even if you don't buy it, promise me you'll play the demo. I mean, there are tons of developers out there making great games, but very, and I mean very few developers can bring innovation to a classic genre with great success like Cinemora.